going on, y'all? We're about to start another world war. Ain't that awesome? Before we get into this video, I want to mention our sponsors, Allegiance Gold. All the leaders of the entire world are just stacking up and coveting gold now, like the dude from Lord of the Rings, my precious, right? But the fact is, the dollar is sinking, and if you've ever been interested in gold whatsoever, this is a great time to buy. Uh, go to 855-45-BUDDY or go to protectwithbuddy.com. <laughs> Happy Friday, y'all. Looks like we're going to another war. Uh, this time it's going to be with Venezuela after Venezuela President Maduro looked at his citizens last Sunday and said, it looks like off the coast of Guyana, they've got about $11 billion worth of oil. Let's hold a vote. Y'all want to go in there and just take it over? And they actually voted yes. Can you imagine if the United States looked at Alberta and said something like, like that? Like, hey, look at Alberta. I mean, it's pretty. It kind of reminds me of like northern Montana. What if we just went and took it over? What if we just made it ours just because? Let's hold a vote. <laughs> I mean, good God. And look, I hate to be getting involved with the bigger pecker contest, but we do need to get out the metaphorical tape measure and look at this honestly. Guyana has about 1 million people, y'all. Venezuela Googled it this morning. It's got over 28 million. Not to mention the backing of Russia and China who all wants Guyana's oil and they all want <laughs> Guyana's gold. So you look at it like this, to attack the US now, while the US is already involved in Russia and Ukraine, while the US is already involved in Israel and Hamas, it's kind of like a street fight. I mean, Chuck Norris is good, but can he take on everybody at the same time? The thing with all the great Chuck Norris films is they came one at a time and he handled them. You throw the whole gang on them, it's gonna be something different. Does Guyana actually stand a chance? Well, I think it'd be a lot like two dudes entering into an arm wrestling contest. One dude uh, owns a flower shop and he prunes daisies all day and he rearranges Hallmark cards. The other dude is an NFL tight end who's about six foot five and benches 450. You tell me. <laughs> the US is literally asleep at the wheel with a president that is so old that he pees on himself just to get the momentum going for a speech. I mean, the adult diapers, shout out to y'all, whoever's covering that man, because y'all do a great job at hiding it. You'd almost never know. Here's the fact that people on the left, and especially all the rhinos, they don't ever want to hear about whatsoever. And that is that the world has returned to land grabs. That's just the way it is. We get involved in this whole Venezuela thing, it's going to be the third war. And look, ExxonMobil, I'm told, is the one that discovered this oil to begin with. So I think Exxon should hire its own private army. Wouldn't that be hilarious? I mean, let Brazil get involved. Let somebody else on the border down there get involved. But the U.S. running down to a third war, to me, is insanity. This, to me, reminds me of the eighth grade because I've got two middle schoolers right now I would know. You ask any girl in the eighth grade right now what the relationship status is of any kids in that entire grade, she will tell you within an instant because she's immature and she's involved in everybody else's matters. But what my country can't seem to figure out is just because someone's got a conflict doesn't mean you need to send your son Cody, who's a Marine, down there to die in South America because a dictator wants more oil. Amen? But I don't throw my German Shepherd. Hey, buddy. I don't throw him in the middle of a pack of 12 coyotes just because they're fighting in the middle of the woods. That's their issue. Who does it actually benefit? Now, we all know President Maduro is evil as hell down there in Venezuela. We know this. Maduro is so popular, though, in Venezuela that he got 150% of the vote. <laughs> Let that sink in for just a minute. There's a reason I think that he's sticking his head out right now more than ever because oil is very low. He can barely afford to even feed his own military. And like I said before, three wars, y'all. Three wars. I mean, if we're fighting it on uh, three major fronts in 2024, imagine next year if we had three more at it. Now we got six world wars that we're fighting all at one time. Every one of you country folks listening right now has lit a bonfire before. And the way to do that is you take the lighter and you light it at several different points. You get that whole thing engulfed in flames, flames, i.e. total destruction. If you're talking about World War III, if we're going to talk about that, then we're actually racing towards it. We ain't running away from it at all. You know, the first fire was the Ukraine-Russian border. Second fire, Israel-Hamas. Third fire, Venezuela. We're returning to the old days now. Not everybody wants democracy. America is Chuck Norris, but you throw Chuck Norris in there with all the bloods and all the crips at the same time, he's gonna have a really tough time fighting his way out. And we might as well start all the Chuck Norris jokes in the comment below. I'll be excited to read them tonight while I'm sitting in the deer stand. If you wanna hear Redneck Jingle Bells, the best Christmas song ever, click here. If you wanna see my interview with Phil Robertson, 
click right here. This is a fantastic video right here. I really want y'all to be able to see that. We want to talk about uh, Bible verses that are misread all the time. Really cool video right here. If you want a great talk on masculinity, click here. God bless y'all. Have an awesome weekend.